Chapter 4, Exploring a Dungeon for the First Time. Now, now, it's no use standing in the same place for a long time, so I should start moving. Seems there are human footprints here, that means that there are people in here, and I have feeling that if I were to bump into each other, it would be troublesome. For the time being, let's move toward the opposite direction of the footprints. However, this cave sure is wide. The height of this cave is probably around 100 meters, and the width should be approximately the same. I'm not entirely sure, due to the uneven rocks scattered here and there, but it feels like this cave is considerably spacious, the wide path branches extending even further. Here is a Y-shaped intersection where there's the path where I came from, the path where the people go through, and the path that I'm headed to. Heading to. The path that I'm going to is the one downwards from the Y-shaped intersection. I climb the rock that nearby, and I peek at the path ahead quickly. Something is there. There are monsters looking about the path. Dear, 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 bad, 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 woof, 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 dinosaur. Translator note. Ugh. I didn't actually read all of them. I just, like, I just read them all, whatever. The appraisal skill has gone rampaged. No, it looks like a deer, but the deer I did not had a shining sword-like horn. Wait, oh, God, I actually messed up the messed up. No, it looked like a deer, but the deer I know did not have a shining sword-like horn. The bats are also different. It looks like an ugly rodent with devil wings. The wolf looks relatively normal, or so I thought, but it has six legs. At the back, there is a dinosaur lying down. It's like a T-Rex that has horn and scales. Rather than a dinosaur, is it a dragon? Must I break through here? Isn't it impossible? No. Doing something absurd might be good. Might be good thing for a newborn small spider. The difficulty is l is lunatic. Doing something absurd might be good thing. I don't know. Whatever. I stealthily descend from the rock. What to do? The front is a monster hazard. The back, one being a spider hell, and another one human. So the humans came from a large collection of monsters? Whatever. Huh? Am I being checkmated? Well, wait. Calm down. I have prepared a solution just in case something like this might happen. Well, in it not an exaggerated thing. I just happened to found another path. Because of the huge Y-shaped intersection, it did not stand out, but there is definitely a path. The passage was a hole in the wall. Still, the height of the hole is around 3 meters, and the width is approximately the same. If there is a problem, if it is, it is the footprints of humans that come out from the passage. Oh, okay. That's where the humans came from. If a person came out from the passage, does that mean that beyond this passage is the cave, or rather the dungeon's exit? Mm, the exit. Should I really go out? If I am a normal human being, I won't hesitate to go out. After all, it's obvious that this dungeon is way too high-leveled. I don't know how strong I am as a monster at the moment, and I thought that it's impossible to win. The option to fight is excluded. No, if this is a game, then dying won't be hard because I can revive, but it's a reality, then dying will be practically be the end. I don't intend to stake my life in a suicide attack. I want to take as many safety measures as I can. When thinking like that, the choice is to escape the dungeon. The choice to escape the dungeon doesn't seem to be a bad choice. Though the choice was not bad, I cannot say that it's safe to go out. After all, I am a monster. At least if there's people going in and out of the dungeon, that means that there's a human population nearby. If a monster spider were to show up in human territory, obviously I would get hunted. That's the risk of going outside. However, if I can settle down in a place where it's hard to find, then it might work out. It's a matter of luck to skillfully avoid from humans or to continue to stay inside the dungeon. Yosh! I have decided it! For the time being, let's head to the dungeon's exit. I should watch the dungeon exit, and I should escape as soon as possible. There's a possibility that humans may have hit, may, may had pitched their tents at the entrance of the dungeon. Now it's decided, then let's go! I hesitated. No. Can I say it again? This cave is way too wide. And what's this with this huge labyrinth? The path seems to branch until I don't even know where I am going. The number of branch paths I gave up after I encountered till ten. The I encountered a considerable amount of monsters. The result from escaping from each encounter was me getting lost. Footprints. I have lost sight of such a thing long time ago. Ah, no way. A map is needed if anyone wants to conquer this labyrinth. Now's not the time to find the exit. My hunger is reaching its limit soon. Somebody give me rice, please. 
<laughs> that is what chapter four. Yeah. Gosh, I'm having a lot of fun with this one. There's more, more, more chapters, more reading. This is fun. This is great. I love this.